Hey, if you're trying to sell your house and are not have any luck, it could be that you as the seller are the, is making a mistake. And the mistakes can be costly ones. To tell us about these, we do is real estate expert Denny Grimes is with us this morning. Glad you're here. We don't want to make mistakes when we're trying to sell. Oftentimes you need to move on or you want that bigger house. So what are people doing wrong? Well, what a lot of people don't know and they read all the articles about how well the market's doing. Mm -hmm. In the last week, we had about 500 sales close and almost the same number, 460 sellers basically gave up. Oh my. And so there's a lot of people that aren't successful and, and a lot of times they're making some critical mistakes. I'm going to talk about that today. And the, the number one mistake is that sellers still believe that the market is seasonal. Not the case here. It is not the case. And you know what? It, it used to be more seasonal than it is. Mm -hmm. And it's not as seasonal as people think. For example, when you look at the Lee County in a single family home market, there's almost no variation. The second quarter is the strongest with 30% of the sales. The others are the same. Collier's identical. Now, when you get a little bit closer to the coast and you have the, the, uh, the condo market is a little bit more seasonal, but not significantly so. And the important thing for sellers to remember is that although it's summer and it's raining and they may be somewhere else, don't take the property off the market because they're still shelling out money and buyers are still looking. So you're just as likely, in a sense, to sell the house in July as January. Statistically, it's not a big difference, no. That's good to and know. And that's because people are shopping on the internet. You mentioned those payments. They add up. Those are expensive. If you're carrying that house for another six, eight, ten months. Right. You don't want to do that. Absolutely true. And another mistake we make as a seller, we think somebody's going to offer us, make an offer despite the price. Yeah, I met with a seller this past week that's had their home on the market for a year at the same price. And they basically thought, well, you know, if they like it, they can make an offer. And again, because of the internet, buyers have been trained, if they don't see what they want, just wake up the next day, there'll be a new listing in their inbox. And so our market is rational, but not romantic. There's not a lot of love out there. Buyers are waiting, they're patient. Unless a family needs to move, they're, they're, a lot of people are making discretion purchases so they're not going to go and buy something they don't like they'll wait for something better and if the price is too high they won't even make an offer on it and that's why you've always said price it right it'll sell and sell fast that's right absolutely okay. right what do you mean when they're the bus mode is it uh, that sellers are listening to what people are saying not shouting right they may have over a six month period of time they may have three or four people looking at it. and then the frustrating thing for a seller is that everybody everybody said they love the home but they don't buy it well, the, the interesting thing is we track how many people look at their home online, and there could be hundreds of people that are looking at it and deciding not to go see it. Mm. And so the sellers are basing their decision on two or three people on what they said and not what basically the market is shouting. They're shouting no, and they're going to buy something else. And so uh, that's kind of frustrating, particularly when sellers hear all the feedback. Oh, yeah, everybody loves the home, or they hold their own open house, and everybody walks through the home loves it, but they don't buy it. They're listening to the wrong group of people. And you can't sell a home in today's market unless pe some people come in to see it. And if it's not priced right, they won't come in to see it. No, that's very interesting. I mean, I understand that completely. You're listening to the people you see, not even thinking about the ones you do not. That's it. So what do you got to do? Well, you, you have to, you, the agent better be talking or you better be listening. If, if no one is walking through your home, the market is shouting at you, say, look, you know what, you're not competitive. You're the bridesmaid, not the bride. And so generally speaking, it's a price or condition issue. Everything can be solved by price, or sometimes a new coat of paint or some mulch in the front can, can spice it up. In fact, one thing I do encourage sellers to do is look at their home on the Internet and make sure it's appetizing. All right, thanks, Danny. We'll be right back.